Hello everybody and welcome back. We are now into our second game of the third season and I'm going to show you my settings here. Some people were asking, I've made some adjustments, um, very slight adjustments to the sliders I have been playing with for the first two seasons. Um, not a whole lot of big changes, just a few adjustments to make the game a little bit better. Um, so you can copy those down if you want. Um, not going to guarantee that they're going to work for you um, because you know it kind of depends on how you play the game and all that. So, um, but here we go. We are taking on our first conference opponent of the year, Texas State, who is a newcomer newcomer <laughs> to the Sun Belt from, from the, the WAC. And there's Nathan Washington, the sophomore linebacker, we recruited him, and he has turned out to be something. Something else. He's a good linebacker, so uh, hoping to see a lot from him today. But first, we're going to get a look at our offense against this Texas State defense, which is significantly outmatched by this offense. They're very slow, especially on the back end. Texas State just doesn't quite have the speed to match some of the players that we have on this team. And there's Brendan Hunter making a nice cut, and he just screams down the sideline. We couldn't have asked for a better start for the freshman receiver. And so Cruz now finds Hunter again, and this time it's a touchdown. So right off the bat, we're right in the end zone, 7 nothing. It's a good start for the Hilltoppers. And here, you know, Texas State on offense, but we're going to get a little studio update because Michigan State is thinking about upsetting Wisconsin. So we'll check up on that later, and there is... A big sack on Freeman, so this is going to be second and 18 now. And uh, he's got all day to throw, but great coverage. And the ball is a little bit underthrown. And Eric Robinson Berry, he's stepped up big time in the defensive backfield. So now the Hilltoppers looking to get something going on third down, but Cruz is sacked. And they would punt it away. So back to the action for the Texas State offense and Hill he is a tough runner he's a pretty big dude too for a running back and uh, he gets a huge chunk of yards there and they spread the field out here on third and ten and they're gonna get it to Erickson right around the 40 yard line so they're moving the ball you know they've got a pretty decent offense at least they're not horrible Erickson again on the sideline this time and after a false start penalty on third and 10 and with third and 15 but no big deal get about 17 yards on that play and it's second and goal and Freeman hooks up with Lewis I don't know where the coverage was but Lewis just kind of snuck in behind there and it's 7-7 all of a sudden so Cruz shakes off the sack and now he's just going to take off he's a very tough player and gets out of bounds before he can be hit so we give a little handoff out of the shotgun to Marquis Sumler and you know, I really love the depth that we have at halfback. It's just so much fun to have a bunch of backs that you can go to. And look at Brendan Hunter. He's going to get in the end zone for the second time in this game. And, uh, well, second time in the first quarter at that. So this uh, freshman receiver is really coming out. And then it's sophomore safety Jermaine Wade jumping the pattern. A great read by him. And of course, he was on the NCAA Freshman All-American team last season and also on All-Conference. So Rico Brown over the top and John Cruz having a great first quarter, already over 100 yards, and burning this defense to shreds. And that's going to be Bo Brand running a little corner route in the end zone. He easily outruns his man. And uh, this back end of the secondary for Texas State is just... They're, I mean, I was just looking at their ratings earlier. It's just bad. Uh, they really have a lot to improve on. And Nicholas Brown in on the sack. And there you can see what kind of pressure we're getting so early in the game. Again, it's kind of a mismatch here. Texas State is not all that good. And a really bad throw. Freeman is just not hitting his targets today. But... Western Kentucky would stall on their next drive, so Texas State goes back to the action here on offense and they get a nice little dump off to their tight end. And they go to the play action, and oh man, 
That was great coverage there. As it looked like he had the ball, but the defender swipes it away. And now Freeman on third and ten is going to find Thomas who drops it. And uh, just everything falling apart for the Bobcats. And look at the option pitch to John Evans at the last second. Gotta love it. And then Evans right off the right side there. Pretty simple. Nothing fancy about this offense here. And then Evans off the shotgun handoff breaks a tackle. And he's just such a good runner. Oh man. Alright, Cruz play action. Kaboom, it's going to be Brendan Hunter. He is having a phenomenal day, albeit against, again, a very overmatched defense. And uh, there we go, Hunter for the third time. Cruz has four touchdown tosses in the first half. Brendan Hunter has been on the receiving end of three of them. And this defense just can't seem to do anything, anything against the Hilltopper offense. So Freeman now late in the second quarter has all day to throw but great coverage gets him sacked and that's just unfortunate. So John Evans set to return now two minutes to go in the first half. He gets great blocks on the right side and he's got that speed. He is just wow. Look at the distance he carves between those defenders. He has gone 80 yards on a punt return. And uh, he continues to show why he is one of the best returners in the country. And Jermaine Wade, for the second time, he gets his interception. And look at the following his bloggers. Just great intelligence on that return. And, well, we're not going to really let up just yet. It's going to be Brendan Hunter for the fourth time. The freshman wide receiver is a special player, even though we do have to take it with a grain of salt with this defense. And uh, here the studio update, Michigan State still up on Wisconsin in the third quarter, trying to upset the number three team in the country, even though it's kind of early in the season. So now we jump to the second half of play, Freeman looking, finds Erickson, and Erickson burns the coverage. Good play, and uh, well, they're still behind by a ton of points, so if they want to come back, they're really going to have to go, but... Hilltopper's offense not going to slow up any here. I'm going to find Rico Brown over the middle. Spins out of a tackle and great job there getting as many yards as he can while protecting that football, which is the most important thing when you have a lead like this. And then Tyler Hickby, he is a big receiver and he makes big plays. And there we go, John Evans up and over. And uh, yeah, this game's just gotten out of hand, 49-14. And Texas State is going to take a long field goal here. Look at this field goal. Where is he kicking this from? He nails it from long range. 54 yards. Unbelievable. And Michigan State has just pulled away 33-10 to in Madison. Unbelievable. So 49-17 in the fourth quarter. Freeman is back. The pass has all day. And look at this. Sing on the interception. Where did he even come from? We're just playing our backup defenders at this point. We're really not caring. We've got our backups in on offense as well. And Oliver Head fights his way into the end zone for the touchdown. We were basically just trying to run the clock out, but kind of ran out of field as well. So Head on the touchdown run would make it the final score of 56 to 17, the most points scored in any game in this dynasty. And uh, Brendan Hunter, what a game. Eight receptions, 152 yards, four touchdowns. Freshman receiver having a great day. And John Cruz, a career high. Five touchdowns in a single game. He ties the school record for most passing touchdowns in a game. Brendan Hunter ties the school record for four receiving touchdowns in a single game. So there you go. Eight receptions by him on the day. What a... What a game. But uh, this was the exactly the kind of game we needed because we are going to be taking on <clears throat> our toughest team on the schedule, and that is Virginia Tech. They're ranked 18th in the country, and they're going to be very, very difficult because they have one of the best defenses in the country, without a doubt. So we're going to have to watch for that. There you can see Wade with two interceptions. He's been a great pickup. 
uh, from the recruiting uh, in the first season that I did. So there you go. And Jonathan Dowling didn't have a lot of plays in this game, or at least not any that I showed. Um, but he seems to be the fan favorite. I asked you guys what your favorite players are, and he seemed to be a common denominator. So I, I like that. Now there's a lot of different names coming up offensively from you guys, which, you know, take your pick. There's a lot of big-time players on offense. So there you see Freeman had negative 44 yards rushing because he had sacked so many times. But Andy Erickson, I mean, over 100 yards receiving in a loss where they lost by, what, 39 points? So that's that's pretty good. And our defense has to tighten up a little bit, work on those coverage skills. But uh, there you go, Thomas Evans, the senior pass rusher. Probably their best player. He had the only sack for the Texas State defense. You see Will Johnson had that 54-yard field goal. Unbelievable. But uh, there you see we almost had 500 yards of total offense. Which doesn't happen a lot because I run the ball a lot. I'm not a passing guy, as I've said before. But in this game, Texas State's pass defense is so horrible that you got to take advantage of it. So, so what you got to do? Play to your strengths and play to their weaknesses. And you will win that game. And here you can see the NCAA Players of the Weekend. One of them is a Virginia Tech defender, Chase Williams, the linebacker. We'll have to watch for him. And uh, we had both offense and defense Sun Belt Players of the Week, so that's pretty fantastic. Gotta love when that happens. And I know what you guys have been waiting for, some recruiting. We're keeping the recruiting board pretty low this season. We don't need that many players really at all so um, here you can see some of the guys I'm going for got a nice guard to pick up there none of them have committed yet but Jeremiah Ross a solid defensive back Eddie Morris a center looking at him he's got some decent blocking ratings to come in as a freshman anyway and look at the man coverage on these guys I mean, I'm looking for corners with good man coverage that's I've run a lot of man coverage so and there we're also looking at kickers because Jesse Roy is a senior. And there it is. We will be hosting number 18, Virginia Tech. They will be a very tough game, so I hope to see you all next 